primetime game in Buffalo where it will be cold. The Miami Dolphins have been in California, didn't work out so well. They lost both games. Now they are seven and a half point underdogs playing in a revenge spot with the Buffalo Bills. The total in this one is 43 and a half uh, for this matchup. And Chris Farley, we're right back to you for an official play here. And I believe this is going to also play into your two team tees. Yes, this is the second leg of my six-point teaser, and I'm going to tease down the Bills to minus one and a half. Um, let me just talk about the straight-up spread first. You know, and most pro betters are probably, you know, when this came out at seven and then moved up to seven and a half, you want to take the Dolphins, right? Because that, that's a lot of points. Uh, I mean, this is a divisional game. You know, you know, the Dolphins handled business earlier in the year. Of course, the uh, situation and certainly the atmosphere was much different there and uh, scorching hot. Miami, uh, but, um, you know, still a divisional game and a really important game for the Dolphins because if they lose this, then they really are starting to be in, in jeopardy of losing their playoff spot, right? So Correct. It's, it's, it's a desperation game for Miami, but the fact that it came out at seven and has stayed there or even moved in favor of Buffalo, um, it, it was a little surprising to me, actually, because I was expecting it maybe to drop down a little bit in favor of Miami, uh, especially because at first we thought this was going to be slippery weather. Now. As of now, it doesn't say there's going to be any kind of precipitation in this game. Uh, there's like that nor'easter that's roaring across America right now, but I, I don't think it's going to affect this game as of now anyway. But if it did, you know, the slippery conditions kind of favors Miami because they have so much speed on offense. You know, defensive players have to adjust. They don't know the routes that the offensive players are running, right? And that usually favors uh, really fast offenses, but maybe that's less of a concern. Mike McDaniel's certainly trying to play down the weather conditions. You know, they're wearing the shirts. They're saying they're not afraid of the cold. I'll put it this way. The Dolphins had heaters on in their game last week in Los Angeles. And that's like 40 degrees, 50 degrees. What are they going to feel like in, in really cold, windy Buffalo? I think it is going to affect them a little bit. This is a really important game for Buffalo. They're at home. Uh, you know, they want revenge in this situation. And I know their offense hasn't looked all that great. But their defense has really stepped up. They looked great last week, even without Von Miller, who, you know, he won't be back for the Bills, and that's a huge loss. But I think the team knows that they kind of have to step up now that he's not there. He, you know, he can still be a leader on the sideline, et cetera. Um, so th this is a spot where I just think that Buffalo is going to win it. You know, they're at home. They're not going to let Miami win another one. Um, and, and, you know, for what it's worth, there is a little bit of wind, which there should be. That affects Tua way more than it's going to affect Josh Allen. I mean. If anyone doubts that Tua has a little bit of arm strength issues, you know, et cetera, it's, you know, the past two weeks they were pretty glaring, right? And, the, and, and two good defenses figured out how to limit Miami. I would expect Buffalo to do the same against these Dolphins this week. So Buffalo minus one and a half second leg of my teaser. All right. He completes his teaser leg. I know, Scott Kellen, you don't have an official play here, but a quick thought or two before we move on off this Saturday night game. Again, people need to understand they're playing Saturday games. This is a Saturday night NFL Network primetime game. Go ahead, Scott. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think this is going to be a very difficult spot for Miami for all the reasons Chris mentioned. And remember that game that Miami won 21-19. The Bills were extremely uh, limited on defense. They had a ton of defensive injuries in that game, obviously along with the heat that was down there in Florida as well. So uh, this is a much different situation. They've got a lot of defensive guys back. Not all. Miller's gone now. He was in that first game, of course. But they haven't played well up here uh, in the last, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five years. Uh, Buffalo's won by 15, 30, 10, 25, and 8 points, going 3-1-1 one, one against the spread in those games. So they've kind of had their number when Miami has come to town. Obviously, this is a better version of Miami. But the other thing here is Miami has played uh, four top 10 offenses in the league, and Buffalo I still have rated up there, even though they haven't been as good recently. They've allowed 38, 27, 27, and 33 points in those four games. They're probably giving up 27 points in this game, you know, short of the weather uh, hampering them a little bit. In Buffalo, when they're a large favorite like this, um, they've been a seven-point favorite in 13 games over the last 13 games. They've allowed 17 or less in 10 of those 13 games. So I just don't see Buffalo allowing a lot of points here. It's probably 17 or less for Miami. Uh, and history is shown that Miami is not a great defense. They're probably giving up 24-27 in this game. Uh, so that makes, obviously, the teaser very good. Um, and then, you know, from a cover standpoint, kind of puts it right on the front. So I think the teaser is a good play here. And this is a huge game for Buffalo as well. They lose this game. They'll only be one game ahead of Miami, and they've lost twice to Miami, so they cannot tie That's with correct. Miami. So 
this is important for Miami, but it's, you know, it, this is this kind of seals the division for Buffalo if they can win this game as well. You bring up a good point. It's not just if you lose, but who are you losing to? We talked about this earlier in the show, if you're just joining us, with Seattle. Because if they lose the Thursday night game, they lose the head-to-head tiebreaker with San Francisco, and the 49ers are now three clear of everybody. They clinch the division. So it's who you lose to sometimes as well at the end of this season. Good point there, Scott, on the Bills and the Dolphins. Nonetheless, the official play belongs to Chris Farley. It's the back half of his two-team tees. He teases Buffalo down to a point and a half. 